Hello and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all feeling strong and well. It is a beautiful day today and it seems like such a long time since we had a chat. Don't you agree? So what's going on in this vlog? Well, let me tell you. We are going to be testing out the Thermarest x Lite Wide. That is the big, yellow, expensive uh, sleep mat. We'll be testing out that tonight, as well as the Rab Ridge Raider, and that's the bivvy bag. Now, uh, I won't be using the bivvy bag for the West Highland Way because me and my lass are now doing that. I did buy it about a year ago to do the coast to coast with, but that coast to coast has been mothballed because of the pandemic, of course. I'm not doing that. But looking forward to the West Highland Way, doing that with my lass. So that's what we're doing tonight, testing out them uh, two products. Expensive sleep mat, 170 quid's worth, and the Rab Ridge Raider. See how that is for solo wild camping. <laughs> I'm so glad that you're with me on my first solo wild camp 2021. Or of course, I would be all by myself. So I've just been having a look around here and it's very popular with climbers as well. So I'm just gonna have a little look at these guys uh, practicing their climbing. So uh, it's a little bit busy right now. There is some climbers over that way as well. And uh, I'm hoping it quietens down a little bit later on, but uh, these guys were kind enough to uh, let me include them in my vlog. And I hope you subscribe because I'm just about to give you one of my cards. <laughs> So I found a fantastic location here to camp out tonight using my bivy bag and the expensive Thermarest sleep mat. And I'll be showing you that, of course, later on. And the weather is still fantastic. So I think I'm gonna get a really good night's sleep here tonight. It's still only three o'clock, so plenty of time. Now, I just want to let you know why I haven't uploaded for about a month, just over a month. Um, if you've got this far in the vlog, I'm assuming that you are one of my very loyal subscribers. Uh, my dad uh, was battling cancer, prostate cancer, for about uh, four years. He was diagnosed at stage four, and uh, recently he lost that fight. So. Obviously, I haven't been feeling very creative and I certainly didn't want to be talking to you and faking a smile on my old face. So, feeling better now and this wild camp, this first one, is really going to uh, give me a kick up the backside. So, I'm glad you guys are with me. So, yeah, prostate cancer. Uh, check yourself out and uh, catch it early. Okay, so uh, where am I? I am just above Todmorden and Mytham Road in West Yorkshire and uh, near a place called Gaddings Dam. And uh, I've wanted to look around these rocks for a while, uh, thinking that there's some good wild camping spots. And there really is, there's quite a few over there, quite a few other places. So I might come back with the tent, uh, me and my lass and uh, test out some other stuff. We've got a long way to go and I've been watching your videos, your vlogs, uh, Paul Messner, Simon Outdoors, Border Rambler, um, Step Away From The Screens. Uh, yeah, just to mention a few. Uh, so many I've been watching over the years and recently again, just to refresh myself on uh, on the gear you need. So if you're watching this vlog and you're looking to get into wild camping, you need some advice, I will leave the links to the channels that I have watched and that have helped me over the years. And my advice to you is to listen to them guys carefully and you could save yourself a lot of money because I did try and do it on the cheap from the start and you did warn me uh, and you end up getting what you pays for. So tonight, using some uh, pretty decent kit and I hope I'm gonna get a nice, night's sleep. Okay, let's just give you a better view of where I will be camping out tonight, where I've chosen. So uh, we've got a great view over here and the sun I think will be setting over that way. So we might get a good sunset tonight. Very nice sunset. I hope to bring you that as well. And I have chosen to camp out just by this rock here. You can see I was sat down there in the earlier take. I was just sat down there and I'll be just pitching the uh, bivy bag down there. So uh, it's looking good. 
So I do hope you'll be staying with me on the run up to the West Highland way up in Scotland. Really looking forward to that. And I'll be doing that uh, around uh, August, September time. And along the way, me and my lass will be camping out and testing other things that we have got from the advice from your top notch channels. And also a great uh, channel that I did pick up on for the West Island Way was uh, Girl Outdoors. Girl Outdoors, fantastic. She did the West Island Way. She's only a youngster and uh, very inspirational. So me and my lass will be testing out uh, freeze-dried food and uh, the stove that we've got. And uh, another sleep mat, actually. I got the Sea to Summit uh, sleep mat, one of the high end. Another £170 on uh, another uh, sleep mat. And my lass will be testing that out when we camp out together so yes yeah, stick with us uh, and i hope you can give us some advice on the run-up to our west highland way okay i'm going to start setting up the bivy bag now and i'll bring you back when i've got it all set up and have a chat with you then I'm going to have something to eat there'll be no cooking tonight by the way there'll be no stove uh, that will be happening when me and my lass are out uh, probably next time wild camping and we are going to test out as i say the freeze-dried foods and any other tips on foods that you can give me uh, and I'll try that out as well uh, that includes drink uh, yes uh, wine wine as well <laughs> okay so I thought I'd just bring you back at the point of blowing up the Thermarest NeoAir X Lite and here it is big yellow and it's uh, it's the wider one so it just fits in the bivy bag let me just show you it just fits in there hoping it fits nicely so it's looking good and uh, I'll just put you back there Inside the uh, bag, there is another bag and it's a pump sack. And this is a really great idea uh, because that just connects on there like so. And you uh, open the valve and then you just collect some air in the bag. Just collect some air just like that. Close the top and just push down. Collect some more air. And this is saving you having to blow it up with your mouth and putting moisture in there as well. And it only takes three or four pumps with all this air and then it's uh, completely blown up. So all the instructions for uh, doing that are actually on this bag. And there's a the little part that connects to the bag. And I've blown the bag up and you can see in there. I'll just let you go in there. You can see it seems to fit perfectly. So there it is, that's my pitch for this evening, for tonight. And you can see I've got this little tarp over the top, that's a Van Gogh tarp, and that's just keeping the wind off. The wind might get up a little bit more tonight. I'll just keep it off, so I thought I'd bring that as well. I think I'm glad that I did. But you can see how little space the, uh, the Rab Ridge Raider would take up. So yeah, the Ridge Raider, the Rab uh, bivy bag is great for multi-day hiking, and it's got uh, like a hooped design with a thin, lightweight rod that goes through there and uh, that gives it more stability and uh, more comfort because you've got it lifted off your face when you're inside it. Um, you don't have to peg it out but there's six uh, pegs that come with it, very small uh, lightweight pegs that come with it. You can peg it out uh, if you're expecting uh, bad weather like a lot of wind. Now the Rab bivy bag does completely close up, it zips up at the front of course and it also has a mesh so you can have the uh, zip open and just the mesh zipped up and you can actually see out and not let the midges in which is really good at this time of year and there was some midges earlier on. I think it's still just a little bit cool for them but I could see some knocking about as the sun got to its highest so I'm really glad that it's got that midge net and I'm hoping to be able to just see out of there as the sun comes down. And I hope to bring you uh, the sunset uh, later on. The sun is uh, still quite high in the sky. We've got about uh, three more hours to sunset and we'll see what that's gonna look like. For those of you that are wondering how much the uh, bivy bag weighs, it weighs uh, just over a kilogram. So it's very lightweight, very compact. I've actually managed to pack it into my Atlas uh, camera bag, my camera rucksack, and bring all my camera equipment with me and 
all of this and get to a wild camp in tonight so yeah i'm really happy that i can do a solo wild camp and bring all my uh, camera equipment with me uh, things like uh, getting the wildlife and stuff like that i need to bring other cameras sometimes and not just the gopro so i'm really happy with that i'm glad that i've waited for the weather to get better we have had some bleak weather here in west yorkshire so it's looking good the uh, days are very long now and i'm really enjoying it so yeah i'll bring you back when the sun is coming down i'll let you have a little look around Well, I've already had a little sleep. I did nod off <laughs> and I've had some sandwiches and a drink. So I am looking a little bit bleary eyed and I'll be looking even more bleary eyed in the morning. I'm going to leave you with this gorgeous sunset here this evening. It's been a wonderful evening. I've picked a great day to camp out and the sun will be rising over in this direction tomorrow morning when I will have completed my first solo wild camp of 2021. I'm really glad that you've been with me and I will see you in the morning. Good morning, <laughs> sorry for the attire. Got my seal skin hoodie on because it is freezing. There's a the last look at my pitch. Um, it was a very comfortable night as it goes, but I'm gonna to talk to you about uh, my experience last night on my way back uh, because the sun will hopefully have come up over here by then. Uh, right now we have got some freezing fog. It is freezing, so we're not quite out of the winter yet, but I did have a comfortable night, comfortable and peaceful. So I'll pack up now and uh, leave no trace, of course, and I will see you on the walk back. So I've packed away, there is no trace. It's still freezing cold up here. It's about an hour since I last spoke to you. I just steady away, packed away, hoping that the sun would rise, uh, but that's not going to happen. So I'm going to end this vlog here. The experience with the Thermarest sleep mat was absolutely fantastic. I think the, the key thing was a uh, couple of things. Uh, the way the the heat from my body was just bounced right back up at me. I felt no cold dragging through into the ground and the ground will have got cold last night. There was absolutely zero of that going on. And uh, the other thing was the pitch wasn't actually perfect. It's a little bit uneven. And with the foam mats, you can actually feel any unevenness, but I couldn't even feel that. There's a few little lumps and bumps there, but I couldn't even feel any of them. It blows up very quickly and it goes down really easily. So I really am happy with my purchase there. £170 worth of sleep mat. And you think to yourself, God, it's just a lilo, but it isn't. There is a lot of technology gone into the, uh, the materials that it's made out of and uh, how it packs away, how it blows up all makes it very easy, very, very easy. I've got very little gear to carry now. So all the advice from all your channels and I will be leaving links to all the channels uh, that uh, I've picked up these tips from along the way. I'll be leaving them links in the description below. So if you're looking to get into wild camping, definitely uh, check them out. This was not a review, obviously. This is just my experience and my training for the West Highland Way. But uh, yeah, uh, that's it. I'm off. I'm going to make my way back to the car, which is uh, about uh, three miles away. I'm going to walk through this lovely fog. So I just want to say I'm really glad that you guys are with me on my first solo wild camp of 2021. And so good to be back talking to you. So uh, that's it for this one. I upload vlogs every month. <laughs> every month I upload vlogs. And uh, if I don't see you through the month, I will see you in the next one.
Bye.